So hello everyone and a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247 where we are going to discuss some more questions from the PIB news which are relevant for the uh, upcoming RBI Grade B exam and all other exams as well. All right. So let's begin with the session and let's talk about the very first question. And in today's session, guys, we are going to discuss five questions and all the five questions are very, very important. And the best thing about these five questions are they are not uh, in much detail. ठीक है ये बहुत ज़्यादा detail में हमें पढ़ने की ज़रूरत ही नहीं है. पांच question हैं, छोटे-छोटे news हैं और पांचों के पांचों बहुत ज़्यादा important. All right. So the very first question says, name the project launched by Ministry of Information and Broadcasting for skilling, certification and overseas employment of Indians. So this is a very very important question, guys. And I believe कि इसमें से question आपके exam में आना चाहिए. So let's talk about the news. So remember. The Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, which is headed by Mr. Anurag Thakur. Anurag Thakur's Lok Sabha constituency is Hamirpur in Himachal Pradesh. He is from Hamirpur Lok Sabha constituency. So this ministry has launched this project, which is named as Tejas. And Tejas stands for Training for Emirates, Jobs and Skills. Okay? This is the full form of Tejas. Do remember the full form also. Training for Emirates, Jobs and Skills project. All right. Now the objective of this project is to skill, is to provide skill, to provide certification and to provide overseas employment to the Indians. Okay, basically this project is aimed at skilling, certification and overseas employment of the Indians. And remember, it has been launched at the ongoing Dubai Expo. Jo bhi Dubai Expo chal raha hai, 2022, wahan pe is project ko launch kiya gaya hai by Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. And this project is aimed at creating 10,000 strong Indian workforce in UAE in its initial phase. So, its initial phase is 10,000 Indian logo ko, uh, employment opportunities di jayegi in United Arab Emirates. All right. So that's it. Isse zada padne ki zarurat nahi hai. Nothing. There is uh, no need to go into more details of this project. Theke? This much is more than enough for your exam. So therefore, guys, the correct answer will be what? The correct answer will be Tejas. Option A, Tejas is the correct answer. And this Dubai Expo reminds me of Defense Expo. Defense Expo, Def Expo in short. So can you tell me in 2022, what is the uh, location? What will be the location of Defense Expo? Kaha pe hoga Defense Expo 2022? Write down in the comments. Moving ahead to question number two. In which IIT Param Shakti Supercomputer has been inaugurated under National Supercomputing Mission? So one more supercomputer has been inaugurated under this national supercomputing mission. This question is regarding that. All right, so let's talk about this. Remember, under national supercomputing mission, Param Shakti, which is a petascale supercomputer, has been inaugurated at IIT Kharagpur. Where is inaugurated? IIT Kharagpur has inaugurated it. And for making of this supercomputer, an MOU was signed in the year 2019 between IIT Kharagpur and CDAC, which is Center for Development in Advanced Computing. All right. And you should know the capacity of this supercomputer. This is of 1.66 petaflops. Yeah, and the Japanese computer Fugaku, Japanese computer Fugaku has the highest capacity in among all the supercomputers across the world. So do remember the name of Fugaku as well. And also remember it is from Japan. All right. Now talking about the National Supercomputing Mission, so remember it was launched in the year 2015 and what was the objective? To enhance the research capacities and capabilities by forming a supercomputer grid. Take a supercomputer grid form karke, to humare desh ki research ki capacities usko enhance karna is the objective of National Supercomputing Mission. Do remember the launcher also which is very important for all the government exam and remember it is being implemented by the Department of Science and Technology, which is of course working under the Ministry of Science and Technology headed by Jitendra Singh and the Ministry of Electronics and IT, which is headed by Ashwini Vaishnav. All right. But do remember also that the nodal agency for implementing this mission is CDAC, which is Center for Development and Advanced Computing and IISC Bangalore. These two are the nodal agencies while the, you can say the implementing ministries if they ask you the implementing ministries, the answer would be Ministry of Electronics and IT and Ministry of Science and Technology. If they ask you about the nodal agency, in that case, the answer would be CDAC and IISC Bangalore. 
एंड द वेरी फर्स्ट सुपर कंप्यूटर ऑफ इंडिया वॉज परम एट थाउजेंड आई होप यू ऑल नो दिस ठीक है ना परम इज मिसिंग है आई विल मेक द करेक्शन इन द पी डी एफ परम एट थाउजेंड वॉज द फर्स्ट सुपर कंप्यूटर अंडर नेशनल सुपर कंप्यूटिंग मिशन All right, so now let's come back to the question. It has been inaugurated at IIT Kharagpur. Option E will be the correct answer to this question. And now let's talk about question number three. Again, very very important question. Definitely, this must be a question. Aana chahiye aapke exam mein. Which state has been awarded as the best state in the third edition of National Water Awards 2022? And these awards were given by the President of India. ठीक है, President of India ने award diye the. The third edition of uh, National Water Awards. So the President of India felicitated the winners of the third edition of National Water Awards 2022, and these awards were instituted, of course, by the Ministry of Jal Shakti, which is headed by Mr. Gajendra Singh Shekhawat, who is from the Lok Sabha constituency Jodhpur. Okay, in the Lok Sabha constituency, what is Jodhpur? Hai. All right. Now, in these awards, total. 57 winners were there in 11 different categories and among the uh, among the states it is uttar pradesh which has been as as the as the best state followed by rajasthan and tamil nadu uttar pradesh number 1 pe hai number 2 pe rajasthan and tamil nadu and for rest of the categories there is no need theek hai baaki categories ka padhne ki zarurat nahi hai just remember the best state the best state is uttar pradesh followed by rajasthan and and do remember that during the event Catch the Rain campaign 2022 was also launched by the Ministry of Jal Shakti. It was launched last year also. Catch the Rain campaign. So this is the second time that they are launched that they have launched this Catch the Rain campaign. All right. So therefore, the correct answer will be what? Uttar Pradesh option A will be the correct answer. But do remember the second and third best state also, which is Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu respectively. Moving ahead to question number four. Very straightforward question. No need to go into the details at all. The question says, with which of the following institutes, Ministry of MSME, has organized mega international summit on MSMEs at India International Center, which is located in Delhi. Now, can you tell me who is the Minister of MSME? Write down in the comments. Now, you have two questions. First of all, you have to tell me where will the Defence Expo be held in this year, and then you have to tell me who is the Minister of MSME. So, for this. Uh, question the correct answer guys is entrepreneurship development institute of india which is in gujarat theek hai ye kahan pe hai gujarat mein hai and with this institute ministry of msme has organized this international summit on msmes very very important question again so option c is the correct answer and the last question for today question number 5 with which of the following organizations niti aayog has launched a book which is titled as indian agriculture towards 2030 again very important question so you can see all the five questions are very important today and the best thing is we don't have to go into the details of these five questions jitna humne padha hai that is more than enough all right so this organization with which this book has been released uh, by niti aayog is food and agriculture organization fao which is headquartered in rome theek hai which is headquartered in rome of course which is the capital of italy so option d fao is the correct answer all right So that's it for the session today, guys. I hope all the questions are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you want to ace the RBI Grade B examination this year, do join this crash course. In this crash course, you can get everything, ठीक है, related to the RBI Grade B examination. And if you want to enroll in this course, you can download this app from your Google Play Store, where you will get all the live sessions, daily GK and quizzes, downloadable PDFs, etc., etc., mock tests, everything you can get at this one place. and if you want to ask anything related to examination you can follow me here but here you can ask only the questions related to related to examinations please all right so thank you so much i hope everything is clear i'll see you in the next session on monday goodbye take care and god bless